Good evening, YouTube. It is Saturday night. My time, of course. By the time you're watching this, it won't be Saturday night anywhere in the world, I don't believe. Unless you just so happen to watch this at a later date, and it's Saturday night, and then it works out. But yeah, that's enough of that. So we are back in the This Is Total War campaign. There was a, a hiatus in it as patch 14 beta rolled out, uh, because I was waiting for the four turn per year mod to get updated, which it actually did get updated while the patch was still in beta, but uh, I went ahead and waited for the, the thing to go public. And we are ready to continue our expansion across uh, um, the mainland here, so pretty exciting. I've got an army here that's partway trained. I lost this army, and so I'm retraining it, and then I had another army that took Cinnaboom, or whatever this place is. Um, from the Gallic Confederation, I believe, was who we took it from. It looks like all my uh, movement points are used up. This army needs to retrain. Let's see, uh, I've lost some swordsmen probably in this army. No, cavalry it looks like. Yeah, that army needs cavalry. I can get some uh, Britain scout riders retrained back in. I have one veteran rider and then my general there. So I'll just pick up a couple of scout riders on the end of this turn. Because we've got the right buildings, right buildings here as well. This is going to give me Britain Scorpion and Chariots, Sword Band. Okay. Yeah, I think we're all set. Uh, I've got the units retraining that we need to... This agent's got all of his movement, and so does this one. I see an enemy uh, War Maiden down here. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, knock her off before she gives me trouble. I wonder what our chance to convert is. Let's look at some manipulation here. Ooh, really low there. Not bad. Let's try this, see if we get lucky and maybe get her to defect. Nope, but we hindered her at least. And then there's another enemy agent up here, which would be a Trushi Shield Maiden. Which is kind of funny because she doesn't have a shield. So, not sure what she's hiding there. <laughs> Let's see... Oh, there's an enemy agent right in front of my face, a Sequani scout. I am the Let's see if we can... You have of Manipulation works best, I find at least, with... Um... Oh, actually, I got a pretty good chance of coercion here. Not great, but I give it a shot. <laughs> my agent got wounded. That was actually a pretty unlikely you. outcome, but that's okay. <laughs> None of this is a very good outcome either. Eh, give it a shot. Alright. Oh, and I got more agents here today. Oh, this War Maiden's uh, pretty good shape, so let's try manipulating with her. Yeah, she's got an excellent chance of causing defection. There we go. Should have been using her all along. And then I've got another War Maiden ready to go right here. Let's see if we can pick up this War Maiden down here. Manipulation. Oh, man, yeah, these great. I forgot how good um, champions and War Maidens are at making agents defect. They're fantastic at it. So there we go. We just picked up a few new agents, which is cool, because you can go in here and see that I've, I, I've already got four spies and six champions um, when I'm supposed to only be able to have two, which is uh, no doubt very handy. So like, see, I got another warlord in here. It uh, works out really well. It's a great way to, to give yourself a boost, especially if you're playing on the, the more difficult uh, versions of campaign. I'm going to go ahead and build a farm here. Alright, and I do believe we're probably ready to end the turn. One of my War Maidens ranked up. And let's see what she's good at. I, I've given her a ton of skills, or maybe this is one of the ones that I got to defect too, I don't know. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. She doesn't have zeal open? How can she not have zeal open? She's got all these artifice. Persuade. None of this stuff makes her better at coercion. <laughs> but she sure was good at it. Um, she's fairly high level already. I might just increase her uh, critical uh, chance of critical success. And then let's, this uh, agent here, or this war maiden is fairly, fairly unleveled up. So we'll start with the zeal, which I find to be a pretty good one for them. Because you can make them very good at converting enemy agents. And then my general and this army can be upgraded. Let's see if there's any... Wow, melee attack skill and defense for all cavalry. Shots per minute for chariot units. Not sure how helpful that'd be. 8% melee defense skill for light and very light infantry. Huh. Not a huge boost. 
Indomitable infantry. Not bad. Um, let's go with Indomitable Infantry. I usually like beefing up my infantry in a campaign, since they're kind of a, a stronghold for you. Warhelm, that's cool. Let's take that. And then... I always go down the Strategist Tree. I want to go down the Commander Tree. Just for... Or the, uh, yeah, the Commander Tree with uh, Authority. Just for fun. Just to do something different. Oh, and I forgot to start my uh, timer clock. There we go. And now I believe we're ready to end the turn. Man, I love this Rum 1 music. For me, it just kind of makes the campaigns that much more fun because you have that like bit of Rome 1 nostalgia behind it. It's a fantastic mod, it really is. If you all aren't using it, you should definitely try it. Unless you don't like the music, then don't try it. <laughs> but if you if you like it, you should definitely get out there and grab it. It's a good one. Uh, if you if you want to play online, though, you can't use the Rome music mod and play. You can't use any mods and play against other players online unless they have the mods. So just so you all know that, you can easily. Speak of uh, oh man, I forgot enemies. to check my. Um, Only the weak seek the death of all. I forgot to check my uh, diplomatic stance with everybody. I don't think that we had any factions I hadn't declared war against, but let's sure hope not, because that'd send this whole thing to the pits. Had some sabotage and some version done to us. We'll have to see what we can do to undo what's going on there. Let's make sure I didn't miss anybody. Nope. Good. Everybody still hates us and we hate them. Which is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Alright. So I'm going to get at least three more sword band. That army will kind of slowly be rebuilt. I live to serve the I live people, to serve of the people Britain. Britain. Let's see. Let's get this you war maiden. Put her back oh, in for some military so training. And, and I'm going to bring my scout up. Well, actually, what's this? I, live to serve the people I wonder if this warlord here... Oh, that's a shield maiden, so... She'll be somewhat resistant to my manipulation, I think. Not entirely, though. Let's take a shot. Get here. I am... Yes! <laughs> I'm on a roll! This is awesome. I'm going to have a flood of agents, which we're going to badly need, too. By the way, people, you're going to want a flood of agents, especially in this type of campaign where you're going to be declaring war on everybody. It's, it is not necessarily a necessity, but it's something you're going to want. Let's see if we can keep this string of coercions up. I don't need words. Ah, what? I keep... That was also pretty unlikely that that would happen. That's annoying. What do you wish of me? Uh, you know what? Let's just get rid of this guy. Now he's gone and made me mad. There we go. We'll send him home wounded. Make him think about what he's done before I coerce him later. It's gonna take seven turns to repair that building. Good grief. Okay. Get everything repaired at Nemeta Senna. And then, so I'm building this army. That means this one's going to have to wait temporarily. And let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to wait before I start any more new armies because I don't really... Well, I could start mustering an army back here too, and I might as well push my funding a little bit. I don't see any big reason why not. It's a... Uh, you know what, I'm going to pick one of these other candidates, because I'll probably end up getting them killed. In fact, I could probably get them killed on purpose. Do they have, like, a statesman? No. Okay. I going to see if the other ones had, like, a statesman or something that I could use, because then I could just get them killed on purpose. And we'll put him in a uh, noble horse. It's a great unit. Yes. And I am out of money for this turn. That's good. We'll use up our money. We want to use it. I'm going to be expanding quick, and... Let's just make sure that I didn't encounter any new factions. We did not. In this turn, really would like to get a fight going here in a minute. This will kind of be my respite from the Parthia campaign now, since the fighting on it is going to be much, much more difficult. Uh, so the fighting on this came, campaign will probably be uh, easy most of the time, depending on how well I play. Um, but the tricky part's going to be, obviously, that I'm going to be at war with everybody. So you're not going to have trade agreements. You're not going to have alliances. You know, like a lot of other stuff. It's just going to be you versus the world. Kind of deal. Well, we wounded an enemy trying to incite unrest at Trivorum, which is good. Agent recovered. And we're supposed to capture Teleferdum. 
Don't really know that we're ready to do that yet, but I can probably do it relatively soon. The <laughs> shield maiden, that's awesome. Wait, what's her skills here? Let's see. Wow, she's got quite a few skills here. Good. Um, let's get this guy in here doing his military training again. Looks like I have military training going on in all my armies, which is, which is good. Uh, this one's pretty much ready to move out. And I'm thinking maybe we'll go ahead and go out here and secure this this settlement. I'll move down here. You have further orders? And then I'm going to take this yes. war maiden and stick her back you here to keep the military yes. training going. How can I and this druid, I'm just going to drop him into his agent stance. And then the scout, let's use him to go scout ahead and see what we're up against. Gallic Confederation's got quite a few troops over there. Nothing we can't handle, though, I don't think. And let's go ahead and start training troops for this army. Yeah, I'll go ahead and upgrade him before I forget. Gets better charge and attack, so that's not a bad deal at all. Let's get some veteran riders. That's going to take most of my money. Let's see, this army, I was recruiting sword band. It's not going to hurt me to get a couple more slingers, which are relatively... Well, I can only train one, but hey... Uh, my money, like I said, is running lower. I need to get out and do some some conquering, and uh, it looks like this this arm or that area is next. And there's a whole bunch of Arverni down here actually at this point, but they're pretty crummy troops. And what we can do to kind of soften them up, of course, is to use some of our agents here. Let's use these spies or these scouts, I should say. I'm gonna actually pull these. How can I assist the druid I'll leave here, actually. and Let's see if we can um, cause some... Dis well, actually, that's money I don't have right now. Um, just move over here. In fact, I'm not going to have enough money to use my spy. Let's just drop these agents into their stance. Um, do the same thing with these scouts for this turn. All right, and I'm going to make this spy better at poisoning. Oh, no, man, I meant to undo that. should have made him better at uh, poisoning provisions in the enemy armies because that comes in super handy. Well, let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, man, I forgot to check my diplomacy. That's not good. I don't think I encountered any new factions, but if I did, I guess I can just reload that save and go back. Here comes the Gauls. At least they're going to act like they're coming at me. I've got plenty to defend against them. I'm not worried about my defensive position, and I can poison them too if necessary. Which, I think it's necessary. When is it not necessary to poison my enemies, you know, come to think of it? Gallic Confederation's up to something there. And now the Sequani are going to start sending an agent back my way. We'll see if we can convince her that she's fighting for the wrong side. Rallied the slaves, that's not good. And someone poisoned my wells, and then I got my provisions poisoned in this army. Which caused a little damage to some of my troops, but nothing nothing bad. In fact, it's not bad enough that it really wants me or makes me want to stop from going up against these folks over there, but it uh, never mind, it took up half my movement points, so I can't make it. So I'll go ahead and just uh, sit this one out, and since they poisoned me. I'd like to return the favor, but I really need to spend my money on recruiting troops and getting enemy what? agents to defect. To so, let's see if we can get this war maiden to defect and then we'll get another one. So, see if we can coerce her. Well, she's hindered. It's a good start. And then these agents... This scout looks like he's got the skills here. Let's try some assassination. Wow. This enemy scout's actually a pretty tough hit. Try and solicit a traitor. Nope. Well, I don't want to spend any more money on that because I need to keep training troops. So let's go ahead and pop out a couple of slingers here. And then this army's going to need some cavalry. And I can recruit sword band down here too. So I'm thinking about moving this army down here into this province. 
so that I can recruit some cav for them. Next turn, I'll move them over. And I'm going to wait to recruit any more troops up there because my cash is already running a little bit low. I wonder if the Gauls are going to attack me. Uh, let's see if we can poison their provisions. Sabotage. Okay. We did poison their provisions, so that's good. I've got another scout here, too. Let's go ahead and... I probably don't have enough money, actually, to poison their provisions. But the scout ranked up. The people of Britain. And let's see, this dignitary. Druid, sorry. Not a dignitary. There we go. I'm going to give him the ability to convert populace Ready quicker. And let's see, this warlord. I can now unlock the militancy, which gives me more military training for every turn. Which is super handy. Definitely good to have. Actually, remember to check this for once. Oh, I'm ready to go fight the Gallic Confederation. Hope those chumps don't hit me with another agent action. Okay, here come the Gauls. Good. I've been itching for a fight. Let's see, what do they got? Spears, spears, and more spears with a couple of slingers. And then this army is some swordsmen. And then a couple more swordsmen here. So, not going to be a desperate fight, but it'll be a, a decent one. So let's go ahead and fight it. I'm going to defend my, my position in the town. I think I can pretty easily defend it. My sword ban are not fantastic. I think the Gallic warriors are better, but I outnumber them. And uh, I've got a heroic noble for a general, too. So the heroic nobles can beast out quite a few kills. And this army actually did defend itself against the Sequani uh, not too long ago in a pretty pretty well-fought fight. So these guys are used to defending this city. And I have much better numbers this time than I did previously. So I'm certainly not worried about it. Ready for battle. Let's put these spearmen back here. So we can kind of block off. Yeah, I'm going to do this so there's really no flanking. I'm going to put them right behind these buildings. And I'm going to put them in spear wall. And actually, let's get... And yeah, we'll get all four of them in spear wall so it takes up the gaps in between them. And then spear wall is not necessarily, or shield wall is not necessarily great. Um, for creating extra attack, but it's, it makes my guys a lot harder to be uh, to be killed. Sword band. There we go. Let's get the rest of our sword band. Our general needs to be nearby the fight to influence it. He's got inspire the fear, not any kind of fear, but the fear. Intimidate war cry. So it's gonna be some nice nice help he can put in there. Let's take these guys off skirmish, but I will leave them on fire at will. And then I'm just going to leave these farmers. This is a capture. It's just a capture point. So the AI is going to try and get to this capture point, probably. And they could come in the back over here, though I doubt it. I'll just uh, spear wall it off with all these farmers in case they do try and come. And if they try and swing around this way, I can I can block it as well. Not really concerned. Let's get things started. I'm gonna fast forward for just a second. Let the AI get its. Oh, you know what? They have reinforcements coming too, though, so they may. Enemy reinforcements approaching. They may try and come from other directions. I know they can't get through there, so. I'll just bring some more sword band back here. So there we go. We got the uh, got the back covered. Let's go ahead and go into play, and the, enemy's hidden unit. the enemy uh, spear bands are getting hit by a hail of slinger fire right now from my men. Their slingers are standing just outside my range, which is irritating. My sword band aren't really taking much damage, though, from their, from their guys. I'm going to target my slingers. These... Oh, no. Oh, you know what? It looks like I just left a big gap open over here. Sure did. Well, let's go fill it before I get outflanked. Which is going to be close, actually. I'll use my general here. I'm going to put my general into headhunt. And inspire. He's going to... My general's going to absolutely beast these guys. Alright. 
right, so my other guys over here ought to be able to hold off. Enemies just fine, no concern. Yeah, my general managed to protect the flying gear just fine. The general's already racked up 100 kills, which is nice. There we go. Got rid of one unit. Gonna keep cutting down Levy Freeman. What do we got coming here? Spear Noble, Celtic Warriors. We got some troops coming in. Is there anything coming from where these guys are facing? No. So let's actually take a few of these sword band back this way. Y'all don't. No need to keep firing there. Yeah, my general just beasted all these guys. Let's see if we can chase them off. Alright, my general will probably need to rest. He's probably gotten a little tired. <laughs> Didn't lose a single man, are you kidding me? 200 kills? That's a general. Oh, what do we got going on there? More Celtic Slingers. Alright. Well, we're going to need to get rid of those Celtic Slingers. There's a Noble Horse running around out there, though. It's going to make it hard for me to... I don't want to get out there with my Slingers. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. I wonder if I can get my Slingers up far enough to get in range of theirs here. Their Slingers not really causing me a whole lot of damage, but it would be best to get rid of them. Here comes the next wave of inbound enemies. Spear Noble's actually going to put up a pretty strong fight here. I'm going to actually frenzy against these Celtic Warriors. They're going to do the same against me. I'm going to war cry and then inspire that sword band. Because this sword band's actually going to have a have its work cut out for him. I got a good charge though, so it ended up working out good. Ah, just out of range. We are doing really well here though. My general is just mopping the floor. Still not lost a single man. That's insane. This is definitely not in the very hard setting. <laughs> Um, yeah, he is just over there beasting the daylights out of those guys. I wonder if we can hit these guys. Because they're in my range. Nope. Go ahead and back up. Don't want to get my guys killed. Let's let my guys go ahead and finish these guys off. Those, those uh, Spear Nobles are going to be a tough finish. Oh, wow, yeah, look at this. Not paying attention. Caught me on an entry point back here. We're going to need to go reinforce. In fact, we can use our Slingers for this. Let's uh, start throwing sling stones into the flanks of the enemy here. Rapid reload. Okay, why are you backing up? We have discovered the enemy's hidden unit. Just fire, you dummies! Waste my rapid reload. Go. There we go. Now I'm getting a lot of slinger fire. All right. Should have paid attention to the old map for that one go bring these guys around for a rear charge. Just keep my general over here for inspirational purposes. In fact, come on. I'm going to war cry the enemy general. Inspire the unit he's up against. And then, let's see. Yeah, my slingers are working magic over here and saving my men. Britain's slingers are actually a really good unit for the price. They've got good attack. And that side charge from my uh, sword bands here are going to finish off the, the Gauls. And then, I mean, they're taking copious amounts of slinger fire to the back right here. And that noble horse will probably need to be a target. We've also got a spear noble here. Let's actually bring my general over to help deal with them. My general finally lost him in because he's getting shot in the back by slingers. And there's a ton of slingers. Bring my heroic nobles in. Let's take these guys out of spear wall. Bring them out and start chasing. Uh, the enemy sword band's getting a little, dead. getting a little torn up. But if I can just kill this spear noble there, we can. I can get my own slingers to fo focus. Yeah, enemy general. I'm hitting him. And then here comes my heroic nobles with a somewhat vicious charge. Hopefully. Key. Here it is. Yeah, enemy spear noble there is a pretty tough, pretty tough opponent. 
get my heroic nobles into them, finish them off. Oh, yeah, my sword band's getting eaten alive. We need to take out this uh, spear noble real quick. And right here, I'm gonna have to come out of shield wall and charge these guys. Let's watch that real quick too. Those Gallic warriors were side charging me, so caught them just in the nick of time. Enemy general's dead here. Let's pull all these guys back, and now I can focus on these slingers, which have been tearing me up. I think it's going to be the end of the enemy armies, so did a pretty good job defending there. Beat back quite a few enemies. 515 kills on the heroic nobles. Definitely a different difficulty setting here. If that were legendary difficulty, like the Levy Freeman will take down your heroic nobles. <laughs> At least half of them, probably. Kind of ridiculous. But uh, it, it does create a different challenge. So the weird thing like that gets me is like, I like playing Total War where I can just like go head to head, toe to toe with my opponents. That's kind of the way I like to fight it. But it's interesting the challenge that you get when you play on Legendary and stuff. And it's not my favorite. And I say it's interesting. Some of you may find it interesting. Some may not. Um, but you kind of have to like learn to play the game a different way, which is part of the reason why I don't do it all the time because it's not my favorite way to play the game. But it is interesting that there's like a method to the madness, you know. So like you have to use a lot of weird agent actions. You can recruit generals just to get the extra units and then disband them before the end of the turn, and then it turns them into a statesman. And then the next time you hire them, it's free. Like there's all these little things that you got to learn to do on the other we come to you campaigns that um. To speak that I just don't get used to because like I said I, I, I just kind of think about things in like a toe-to-toe -to -toe engagement uh, type of stuff because that's the way I like to play Total War but uh, yeah like I said come on sending that agent out there after me again she, if she subverts me again I'm not gonna be able to reach the city that's annoying yep she sure enough did we're gonna have to kill the uh, the Gallic agents over there because they're totally slowing me down <laughs> the Sequani are gonna come after me this time and uh, they have a Celtic Ballista. I don't feel like dealing with the Celtic Ballista right here because I don't have any cav. Um, so I'm just going to auto-resolve because it's going to give me the victory here. And I can retrain any guys I lose. It'll beat back the Sequani because I just fought this same battle and don't want to repeat it for the sake of hopefully not making the video be kind of gruesome there. Yeah, that War Maiden looks like a, a goth rocker from like the 90s or something. All right. Get out of my lands, you moochers. Hidden agent exposed, sabotage, enemy wounded, trying to poison my provisions. Oh, no, good. Military subversion. Yep, show of force, which was successful. Political intrigue, assassination attempt. Jerks. Whatever, I'm going to put your people in so that you don't have anybody to assassinate. All right, so... Good grief. Get enough messages? Gosh dang it. Again, only half of my movement points. Well, whatever. I'm just going to go halfway there. Um, and then someone kill her, please. That would... What level was she? In? What levels... My guy here. What chance do we have? Let's take a look. Or no, I've already moved them, so he won't be able to do it on this turn. You. Manipulation. Pretty decent chance of coercion. Let's try it. I have something to do. Negative. Well, can we at least poison her and get her out of my way for now? Looks like it. Oh, we assassinated. Even better. There we go. Let's put these guys in this city. So now I can uh, train horsemen for them when necessary. My income's a little low. We need to we need to fix it. Let's see. What have I done over here? Plus four cultural conversion. Added wealth. Higher tax rates. What about this stuff over here? Plus one growth. Plus three growth. Two wealth. Uh, let's re do some of the stuff to research the growth. Get some growth going on in my settlements. Alright, I'm getting sick of all these Sequani agents. So I'm going to spend some of my money getting rid of them. They just keep sending agents after me. There we go. I just have to capitalize on the number of agents they're sending to me. And see if we can get rid of some of the rest. Wow, that, that Cherishi agent up there is pretty capable. What do we got here? Druid. What do you wish of me? How can I assist you? Yeah, I mean, that is a pretty beefy agent. He's not gonna go down easy. 
Wow, even lower chance there. Chance to assassinate this. So... Let's try the War Maiden. And an assassination attempt. It's kind of risky, but we'll try it. Sure, got it. Good, so that Cherushi agent was a bigger threat to me than... Um, some of the others there. I don't have enough money to repair that building this turn. It's okay. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go up here and just for a few turns, I'm going to disband these veteran riders, get a little bit of my money back for the time being. Yeah, and then disbanding these slingers and stuff probably won't make a huge difference. So I'm going to keep them. have to wait for the next turn to get into this fight. Don't have enough money to use this scout. Okay. Let's check the units that need upgraded. This war maiden is amongst them. Give her one authority and then open up the zeal tree. Oh, I got another one. And then we'll do warfare. Here. And open up warfare. And this general. Let's go to general, which is plus two authority. That's the one I'm going to do the authority stuff with. Okay. Check the diplomacy. Still good in this turn, and then on the next turn we should be able to take another settlement from the Gallic Confederation. I need to get some more money so I can expand quicker. I'm kind of stagnated right now on my uh, funds. So we're getting a lot of armies thrown at us at Vesontio. We need to just make a gutsy move and take it. And if we could take Vesontio, then um, we'd put a herd on the Sequani and kind of free up some resources. Looks like the Gallic Confederation is going to come after me now. That's good. I've been needing to take them out. Let's see, they got a couple of Celtic Scorpions in that army. I don't know why it's giving them such good chances. It must just be a numbers thing, because I got a feeling they're going to get absolutely smashed right here. And I look forward to giving them that smashing. Yeah, their Scorpions can kind of be a nuisance, but they're not near as effective as, like, Ballista or something. So, not too worried about it. I got a veteran rider and a heroic noble too, which are some pretty and a chariot. We can we can cause some pretty damage with the chariots too. You gotta see what scythe chariots can do. Like, especially back before they got patched. And then uh, you know, like if you had it on like the easier game settings, you could wreck entire armies with elephants and scythe chariots. It was a fact that was one way it was good to try and beat stuff on Legendary, is you'd just like get a whole bunch of elephant generals with the factions who could do it. And you just, I mean, oh my gosh, you could just stomp entire enemy armies with elephants. There was no stopping it. Not for them, at least. Alright. Got my chariots ready. I'm going to bring them out here on the open side of the battlefield screen with my cav. And I just want to get all my infantry in a single group. Got him. Alright. And, uh, actually I'm gonna get my slingers in a separate group. There we go. Start the battle. Bring up my swordsmen. Bring my slingers up behind them. The oaks are your strength, huh? You like acorns? Kinda like a squirrel. approaching. Alright, so Celtic Scorpions. Looks like the enemy is going to reposition a little. I'll use that time to close the distance. Because if they're not firing their Scorpions at me, then it's just helping me. Alright, got all my men moving up. Actually going to pull my cab back for just a second because if my cab come into range of the enemy scorpions first, that's what the scorpions are going to fire at. So I'd kind of like them to start firing at my infantry. Oh, we got guys behind us. All right, turn around, turn around, turn around. Just take a charge with my. Oh, there's heroic nobles back here too. So yeah, we, my guys are going to flip completely around. Don't do that. Get these two spear warriors. I'm going to need you. And then let's get my sword band up here too. Yeah, I'm gonna need these guys. That enemy light cab's trying to get away from me. Yeah, I'm gonna need.
keep my chariots up here. Let's just get all our men back over here. Oh, my slingers! My slingers! Yep, now the AI is closing in on me from both sides. I'm gonna get my slingers killed here, unfortunately. Just the three you run. Let them die. Uh, is there some reason why you're not continuing to retreat? Okay. Uh, my general's gonna get killed. Because he's engaged his spearmen, and there's gonna be no getting out of that now. Crap. Spearmen, get away from that. Okay, well, I ended up doing a bad job here, but let's see what we can make out of it. I'm just gonna let my slinger. You know what, slingers, just stay here and die, because you're cheap. I can replace you. So let's just get in here and take our veteran riders in here. And let's retreat this cab. And I'm gonna leave my spears to hold these guys off. And you all get in here and flank and finish these units. Cavalry counter tactics against the uh, noble horsemen. Our general has fallen. That's okay. We'll live. Okay, I think we're ready to brunt the charge coming from the other direction here because we've destroyed it. Man, this noble horse still didn't die. Okay. Take everybody out of the group. Pull them up. Scout riders and chariots back this way. An entire unit has perished. We're just gonna blunt the enemy charge here. The shield wall. Ancestors shield They're already sending their swords towards my chariots. Actually, come out of shield screen. Charge these enemy spears. And take these guys out of the shield wall. Come over here, there's a light cav. You'll take out the light cav. <laughs> they went into bracing mode before my chariots impacted them. So I just want to fix the enemy first. What is this right here? An enemy spear noble? Get those guys back there. Okay. I've got the enemy fixed over here. Let's put my uh, chariots on flaming shot. And uh, bring them in on a rear charge. Because I'm already losing my spearmen over here, actually. A little faster than I expected. Just gonna keep rolling my chariots on through. And I got flaming missiles all over the enemy, so you can see that the rear charges and flaming missiles actually did the trick. So that's what chariots can be useful, the Iceni chariots at least. I am losing chariots though because I had to roll through a spear noble. And that is not an easy unit to roll through. But you can see what it did to the rest of their troops. They're all routing with a lot of men left, even though they had originally been doing quite well. Oh, even more troops coming in behind me. This fight is not over yet. Let's get this veteran rider back up here. Okay, I'm just going to get reformed a little. Where's my scout rider? Okay, scout rider out here to the flank. What do we got coming still? The Just the scorpions. Okay. Sword band. Ready for battle. Sword band. Ah. Ready. Hunter. Ready. 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 Okay, I'm gonna take these scout riders back here. I got my chariots inbound too, but my sword band are doing pretty well. There's just a couple of spear nobles that I'm worried about, but I think let's just use these spears to chase their skirmishers for a minute. And then right here, I'm going to be able to wheel my chariots in. I'm going to actually click a charge order right here and just see if I can brush the enemy units. I don't want to get caught up in them like in a full-blown charge. Yeah, see how my guys have kind of hit and hopefully keep going. I see any chariots aren't near as massive enough as I'd like, but... 
Let's see if we can get the job done here. And they are still throwing scout riders back here mopping stuff up. Yeah, okay, my chariots have kind of helped to break most of this resistance. I'm going to go ahead and take my chariots out and start chasing enemy units. And then let's bring the veteran riders in on the back of these spear nobles. And we routed the spear nobles up here. Alright, so pretty rough start to this fight, but we were able to finish it. It didn't go exactly the way I had planned, but ended up uh, in the end being pretty brutal for the enemy. It was a close victory for me, but those chariots came in handy. They got a lot more kills than I thought they would. 357, not bad at all. Uh, one of my scout riders mopping up 294 kills. Of course, doing a terrible job with my noble horse, uh, but managed to do okay with most of my infantry. Yeah, had to sacrifice the slingers. Well, didn't have to, but by the time I realized it, it was too late. So, just ended up with enemies all around us there. I guess I just didn't notice that one that had deployed behind me. But that's nothing new. That, that's pretty much me. It's like one of you was laughing the other day when you were watching my Empire campaign, and you're like, Air, you actually used the minimap? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it happens occasionally. I do believe that is all I'm going to have time for in this episode. So... Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I will be back soon with more action. Let's see what do we got. Tribal Chiefs, Elder Chiefs, Elder Chiefs. Everybody's like an Elder Chief now. Um, we'll just hire one of these guys. Put him in a Noble Rider again. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Like I said, Air of Carthage signing off for now.